In this Madden 22 tip, we're going to be breaking down a little route combination that you can utilize. It's going to help you beat the meta defenses, get over 30-yard cloud flats, and be able just to have some simple reads and great pass protection alongside of it. Now, if you are new to the channel, I want to ask you to go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. It's completely free to subscribe to the channel, and it just allows you to stay up to date with the latest tips and strategies that we release every single day here on the YouTube channel. Now, this money play is going to come out of the trips tight end formation in the New England Patriots offensive playbook. It can also be found in other trips tight ends, but New England's uh, trips tight end, I believe, is the best one because it has both great passing concepts and great running concepts. Now, if you want to get my entire trips tight end offensive guide, I'm going to put a link to join my Patreon in the description of this video. Uh, by joining the Patreon, you're not only going to get my full trips tight end ebook, but you're also going to get every ebook that I have. I've got 15 offensive and defensive guides available over at the Patreon right now. You also get access to any kind of updates that we do to those guides, any new ebooks while your subscription is active. And the best part about everything is it's only $10 a month. For just $10 a month, you're going to be able to gain access uh, to some of the best material in Madden 22. So if you want to get better at this game offensively or defensively, like I said, we've got 15 offensive and defensive guides available over there, as well as exclusive updates that we do. Prepic typically like two to three times a week. Just released a new video uh, in the Patreon yesterday talking about defending some of the gun tight slots meta and stuff like that. So if you wanna check all that out, there's a link in the description below. But today we're gonna to be talking about the verticals play. And specifically, we're gonna be focusing our time on the crossing route out of verticals and why it is so effective. Now, ideally what you wanna do, <coughs> excuse me, is you want to run this with your trips set um, to the short side of the field. So I'm going to move the ball over here. You honestly can run this on either, but it is best, I think, if you run it from this uh, this kind of area of the field. Now, as far as the setup goes, um, what we're going to do with this is we're actually going to do a little bit of a hidden motion. I've talked about this motion before on the channel. We're going to motion this receiver to the left, not to the right, but to the left. You're going to see that he's going to come into this uh, pocket right here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to streak him. We're going to put our, our uh, we're going to block our tight end, and then we're going to take our running back, and we're going to put him on a out route, and we're going to put the backside solo or the backside outside receiver on an in route. So you see, this is what the concept looks like right here. And at the snap of the ball, we're going to get really good protection. If they're not playing hard flat, so we can easily just check down uh, to Giovanni Bernard right there to the running back in the flat. If they are uh, playing, let's say they're playing like a little bit of a drop zone, and this is really what this concept was designed to beat, and we, we obviously can't use zone drops in practice mode, but you can kind of imitate them a little bit uh, by taking a look here. So we're at the 20-yard line. So if we can get this ball to about the 40, um, that should be pretty good to get over 30-yard clouds. So again, we're just going to slide our line to the right so that we can get a good rollout opportunity. And then if you don't want to roll out, you don't have to. Um, there are other things that we can do with the tight end. If you want to put send five out, there's certainly other things that we can do. But anyways, what you should see here is this crosser will run, pass lead that up into the outside. And you see that's going to get about to the 35-yard line. So that's about a 45-yard dot that we've got out of this. And the beauty of that crosser is, like I said, you're going to be able to get over 30-yard cloud flats with that crosser, okay? So it's good against pretty much any defense. It's good. It's actually really good um, against man-to-man. -man. I think it might even be better than the standard crosser that we have out of PA Counter Go. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. So, like, if you get man-to-man -man on this, your first read is always going to be your running back. If you can take your running back, just take it. But if you can't, then you're gonna look to hit your crosser. So you see here, oh, there's a purple out there. We're gonna wait on this, and as you can see, he's gonna just cook man coverage. Very, very good little man beater as well. Um, about match coverage, this is pretty decent against match coverage as well, so I'll show you that real quick. So again, we're just gonna motion him to the left, and then you're gonna go through your routes. So you read your, your streak, he's gonna pull his own, I got screamed at right there, but you did see the crosser was open, and I'll show it one more time here against match coverage. I got absolutely screamed at, though. Um, good old practice mode. Seems to always do that to me. Uh, but anyways, so slide to the right. And the reason you're sliding to the right, if you don't want to slide to the right, you don't have to. If you don't block the tight end, there's really no reason to slide to the right. But what it does is it helps you get a double team here so you can get out of the pocket. 
give yourself some time. And as you can see, this is going to cook match coverage. And that's McCourty. He's a really good co uh, cover player um, and still not able to guard it. So I have route tech on that in uh, Mutt, and I also have deep out of lead on that uh, just to kind of make sure that I catch everything. And then lastly, I want to show you cover two. Like I said, you're, if they're running hard flats, then all you have to do is, I mean, if they're not running hard flats, just take the running back route. If they're not, or if they are running hard flats, then you do still have that little in route that they're going to have to choose. So they're going to have to maybe, you know, go to the crosser. Well, you can check down to this right here because the whole middle of the field should be open in that scenario. Um, and if it's not, you know, of course, like I said, you could just simply hit your crosser over and over again. And I'll show that one more time. So, again, we're just going to play a little Tampa 2 um, to kind of imitate this. Because typically what they'll do here is once they see that it's not the PA counter go crosser, they'll actually not guard it. Um, I don't know why, but they just won't. They're like, okay, well, it's not a threat. And it's actually even more of a threat in my opinion. So, again, you're just going to do it like this. And I think this is honestly one of the better setups in the game. And I'll show you. You see see how deep it gets? Like I said, that's, that's about a 45-yard crosser. That's going to get open. Now, the last thing that I wanted to, I kind of wanted to give you a little bit of a bonus uh, setup. The one thing that's not as good as PA counter go is the fact that we can't, we don't have a, a glitchy uh, animation to block our tight end. So if we wanted to get a pull route and still be able to block our tight end, this little tip I think is super important. So we're just going to streak our running back just like this. We're going to block our tight end. And then on the backside, we're going to run a flat to Scotty Miller. And we're going to run an in route to Mike Evans. So you see this? This little concept right here is super underrated. This streak will pull zone. And you see that this thing can still get open out. Pass lead elite kind of, kind of screwed me at the end there. But you see the concept is still there. Cover four is going to probably defend it the best out of anything, to be honest. Just a straight uh, cover four drop. I'll show it to you one more time against cover four. And then I'll show it to you against cover three real quick. Uh, but you see here, just pass lead outside. Once he kind of gets over it, there you see it. Good, good catch by Godwin there. And then lastly, I want to show this one more time against cover three. But what's really cool is it's still – so you're still going to be able to get over the 30 yards. You just um, – and you're still going to be able to block your tight end, but now you have a little bit better of a check down over here on the left because you're able to use the flat and the in route concept, which is super, super glitchy. We've talked about that before on the channel about how that deals with purple zones and really allows you with probably the ultimate check down. But then you have that – right there as you can see against the Mabel concept the third still going to get pulled um, in that way you don't lose any disguise you don't have to motion this guy out if you want to just crucify cover four drop then just motion motion this guy out right here gives you kind of a quick read there if that's not open you're going to see though he's going to really clear this out for you the hook curl did match me but you see kind of the concept if they're running zone drops that even if they're even if they don't have their yellows in zone drops that hook curl should not play that he's not going to match it because if they have zone drops on and that's really when you're going to be running this concept is when they have zone drops but anyways as you can see just a super laser uh for you out of trips tight end i think it's one of the most underrated plays there's so much you can use or do and kind of freestyle this play if you wanted to run a five out version of this play um what i like to do so if I, like let's say you want to run five out version it's just just put the tight end on the streak and put the running back on the out route and what you'll see is same kind of thing if you if there's not hard flats you can just take the running back route and then if they are um you know you know covering the hard flat then you should have the cross or wide open it's it you're still going to get that like i said cover four is going to do the best job and most people at this point in the year actually interestingly enough uh whenever they play trips tight end they're kind of shifting to cover four but i mean as you can see it's still open so anyways guys i just wanted to share this concept with you i actually absolutely love verticals it's been one of my main calls lately out of trips tight end and so this is a concept that you can utilize. If you want to learn my whole trip side in guide, I've been studying trip side in for the better part of three years and I've been running it consistently and I really feel like it's the best offense in this game. So if you want to learn uh, my entire ebook on that, or if you want to learn some of my other stuff, I've got a bunch, I got a bunch of in spread air raid, uh, trio Y flex, which I think is really underrated set as well. Um, if you want to learn all that stuff, join the Patreon. It's only uh, $10 a month. You can cancel whenever you want, but by joining the membership, you get access to everything, all the updates, any new stuff that we release. And we typically release a new ebook at least every month. We're trying for two ebooks 
uh, a month at this rate, but I did hurt my knee, so it has kind of set me back a little bit because I probably am going to have to have surgery. So anyways, thank you guys so much for your support. And um, again, if you're watching this and you want to join the Patreon, head on down to the description below and click the link that I put down there and you can go check it out.